I was just pulling out of the dive and bang, and I was stunned. Luckily not for long because when I sort of got everything together again, I was heading straight for a hill which I was able to pull up over. And um, yeah, the canopy had imploded because we used to dive with the pressurisation off. And so the because the canopy sealed, the outside air pressure increased more rapidly than inside air pressure. So we had a negative uh, pressure, or positive on the outside, if you like. So when the canopy got hit, everything came in and hit me. You know, the perspex and everything hit me on the forehead with my leather helmet, which I swapped for a Yankee one once I got back. <laughs> Some of the guys already had... I don't know why we weren't all issued with American type bone domes, but uh, we weren't. Probably couldn't afford it. Uh, so, uh, yes, I was stunned, and then the, 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 my my element leader uh, stayed with me because I couldn't keep up with the squadron with all the drag. Somebody said, uh, eject, uh, jettison the rest of the canopy, and. I think there was a CEO called up and said, don't do that, it'll hit the tail. <laughs> so, um, but he said, drop the ventral tank, which was empty then. And so then I was able to catch up, but it was very noisy and very cold and very dusty <laughs> initially because the cockpit was obviously full of a lot of dust. <laughs>